Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to talk about area and also area plans. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first, let's create a project. Okay, before we um, create area plan, let's just model some walls. Okay, so I'll just model uh, this wall. And okay, so because the area um, is quite similar to rooms, so let's just model uh, place some room first. Okay, so rooms first. RM, so just place one, two, three, three room. And also we know that we can place, oh, oh sorry, you can automatically place uh, all the rooms. So for example, RM, you can click on this one, it will automatically place the room rooms for you. Okay, so and also there's some, uh, so for example, room separator, you can place it. And also another thing is VV, so you can turn on the room so check this and okay so it will see uh, you, uh, it will be easier for you to find the rooms and also let's just room place another room and automatically place okay so this is a room and also you can create room schedules okay so room yep just put in um, just add all the parameter you need so um, name for example area for example and also or any other parameters so for finish for example and okay so now this is a so sometimes we will see uh, some not room not placed if you don't need them you can just select them delete and okay okay so let's close this one so this this is room okay so now let's have a look of area so you won't be able to place area in a floor plan. So this is floor plan. So we'll see if on the architecture area. So if you try to place area, so that's it's grayed out. Okay, so you can't place. So you have to first create area plan. So here, so this is area plan, or they are also under view, uh, plan view, area plan. I think they are the same. So click on this area plan. So now you have two different type of area plan. So rentable, uh, which um, it will, will go to the inter interior face of the ex external wall. And gross building will go to uh, the area, will go to the ex ex external face of exterior wall. Okay, so first let's create a rentable Okay, so use ground floor, click OK, and Revit will ask you, uh, do you want to pick pick the ex external walls? Yes, please. So click on yes. So you will see all these purple color. Uh, they are they are area boundary. Okay, so Revit automatically place all these area boundary onto your uh, ex external walls, and because this is a rentable area plan they, they they will go to the internal face of these walls okay so now this is one area this is one area so if i place so architecture if i place an area so this is one okay so um not not like room boundary so when when we do rooms so if we place a wall by default, uh, the room bounding is checked. So which means if I place another wall here, so we will be able to create another room here. Okay, so it will separate these two, two, uh, two space. We uh, and then yeah, so so we can place two rooms. But for area, so you can just place walls inside and it won't separate the area okay so in order to separate the area you need to place area boundary you have to okay so you so for example you can place area boundary and you can pick on part on the wall so pick this wall and pick this wall so now you will see um, yeah 
So it's easier to if you type VB again, just si similar to uh, the way we show the rooms, you can show the area as well. So you can see this uh, yellow color. So this is area. Okay, so now we can place another one here. So now we have two areas. And same to the room. So if we if you place a room, for example, uh, okay. So if we place uh, a room, multiple room in one area, so you will see one of the room become redundant, and then the color of this field. See, uh, hell, what? Why it's not showing? Oh, sorry. So because they are using number, let's just just select all these room tag. I want to show the area. So now this way it will tell us this room is redundant. Okay, it won't calculate the area of that room. And also you can tell from the color of this field. So when it's dark blue, which means there are multiple. So if I place another one, so for example, I'll place another room here. And once again, play another room here, so you will see the blue become darker. Okay, so you can use the color to tell. Oh, oh I have multiple room there, so I better fix it, or delete it. Oh, I delete, I deleted the tag. We also need to delete the room. Okay, so so here, the same. I'll probably just delete these two room, and then when once. All the colors light blue, it's all good. Okay, so go. Let's go back to area. It's the same. You can place multiple area in one area, and the the yellow become dark yellow. And yeah, so it's the same redundant area. So you just need to delete. Okay, so um, and sometimes when you want to so um. So for example, I want to, if you want to remove some of the wall, it won't affect the area boundary. So for example, if I drag this wall back to here, so you will see the room boundary are still there and also still the set, still, um, they are still separate. They are, these two areas are still, still separate. If I drag this back, Say it won't affect, so you have to drag the room area, or you can just um, maybe just trim, trim these. Uh, hell, I can't pick this one. Uh, maybe just delete, delete this one. So if you delete this one, now it becomes one area. So this is uh, something quite, um, slightly different uh, to the ro to rooms, okay, and. Uh, you can't just draw a wall here, so you will see it will affect the room, but not the area. So, okay, so you have to you have to do uh, area boundary. So let's just so if there's no wall, you can also use draw 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 the boundary here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Now this is a rentable, okay? So you can tell from this uh, the location of this area boundary. Let's now let's create another one. So uh, let's create an area plan, cross building, okay? So click OK, and yes, or oh, maybe let, this time let's try no, okay? Let's try no. So you will see there's no area boundary at all, okay? So if if you if you need to place them, you can just go area boundary, pick, and then just pick all the walls. And once you create, so you will see all the boundary. Currently, they are all sitting in the middle of the wall because this area is not closed. So once I place, uh, actually, I'm going to place. If I pick this one, it becomes two areas. So that's fine. If I once I place, pick the last wall. And you will see this area boundary will go to the external face of these walls. Okay, because because this is a um, gross building area plan, 
and also the, those uh, between these two areas were sitting in the middle. Okay, so this is um, this is the difference between gross building and rentable, and I, I believe uh, on the rest. Uh, should be the same. Okay, so now if I go create area and one, two, and that's it. Okay, and also um, you can use area quite um, easily to do some master planning. So for example, you don't need to have walls. So sometimes you don't, you just want to do some calculation. So for example, you can just draw draw some um, place, some um, shape to indicate a different area. So you can have, so for example, that's a master plan. You can have this uh, as area one. Oops, sorry, uh, not room, not RN. So it will be area. So let's see if we have a shortcut. No, there's no short. That's fine. So place area. So just like this. Okay, you don't need to have walls. You can just do some, um, yeah, mass plan and do some area schedule. schedule. Um, okay, so that's that's it. Um, uh, what else? I think that's it. And also, uh, I think there's um, another one similar to area and rooms. So I think that's space. That's for, I think, I believe that's for uh, MAP, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite, uh, I'm not very familiar about that. So I'll, I'll just leave it to you. And that's it. That's all the, um, some basic of area and some basic of area and area plans, area uh, tag, it's VV, go air, oh, A, areas. And of course, go uh, schedule. So there will be two area different types. So for this one's cross building, so click on cross building and name and area and click OK. So that's all the area we have in this area plan. So we will, so and also these, so you can you can tell from this, they are different. Okay, so they are different, although they are they look very similar. So if I click double one, uh, level one, so that's the one, this, and so you will see the area boundary, they are not shared, they are not shared. Okay. And also uh, area schedule. It will tell you what they what they, this uh, area schedule are. Um, I think that's that's it. Um, yeah. What do you think? Do you have any question? Do you have um, anything else you want to know? Um, please just uh, write it in the comment. Um, okay. So. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.